Hey love bugs, this is Rosalind making you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome and to my returning subs, my grown extended beautiful family as always. Just thank you so much for the love and support. It is truly appreciated. So with that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light. And many blessings are definitely coming your way. And if you have been uh, watching my videos for a while and have not already, please drop a line. I would love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me and if you feel like the videos just give you a good uplift or a good insight that you truly need it please go ahead and give a thumbs up and share it'll be greatly appreciated and if you um i hope you're able to resonate with the content of this video and the video i'm doing today is called twin flame 101 hey okas it makes you dangerous when you become the calmest person in the room remember that you know i've always been told especially by my mom always be more concerned about the quiet person never the loud one because the loud one is just like it speaks you know uh security and strength is always silent but insecurities is always loud you know and it's always like that even it's just like a lot of times things um when you you know right now it's like everything is really sensitive right now everything is very intense and it's just like you know it, it's telling you a lot of moves are being made right now so it's just for you to even be observant you don't know what's going on behind the scenes for you you know even if things are going on like and it, it's, it's just getting crazy right now you have to understand we just unfolded a lot of vibrations when you have learned life lessons from the things that you have gone through you're showing gratitude to everything that you have gone through you're expanding your you know your vibrations of frequency of everything where you're not seeing anything as a negative and a positive you're just seeing it as a life lesson that I needed to get to that next level when you're allowing yourself to challenge yourself and do new new things you know speak on new uh, opening up uh, you know doing new views you know anything it's just like it was doing the videos you know I usually talk about different things that I'm being guided towards but then there'll be different things that I'm very not comfortable with on talking about that I don't know anything about but just being honest about it you know you're you're I'm expanding my my platform on talking about so many different things that uh I've been guided towards talking about that when it comes to, you know, our tribe, the different things that we speak on, the different things that we see, that we face, we go through. You know, your experiences are always unfolding. Things are moving faster than than the speed of an eye because things may be like this to us, but it's just like in the spirit realm is moving like a millisecond. And, you know, they're, they're always telling you, be observant. You know, even when things, it, it's just like when you know you are in that vibration of change, you're in that vibration of healing, you are allowing yourself to, you know, be that torch bearer, not allowing your, you know, not being so uh, self-conscious on how your light's being seen. You know, when you're doing that, it is going to, you, you're going to deal with a lot of oppressed things. A lot of oppressed entities, you know, spiritual uh, spiritual oppositions. I was just that was the first video I did. You know, you gonna deal with a lot of stuff like that when you're allowing yourself. When you know you're coming from a good place, you know you have good intentions. There's gonna a lot be a lot of times where people are just gonna be comfortable with misunderstanding you. There's gonna be different people that's gonna be trying you. There'll be different things when people don't like what's good about you. They're gonna try to point out what they feel is bad about you, and you have to be able to be that quiet one in the room and just. Re really observe is this coming towards you is this this is being nurturing to you but what they're trying to do is get up under your skin what things are trying to do is trigger you what is trying to do is mislead you want to doubt you make you doubt yourself these are the things where it's telling you you got to be that that you become dangerous when you control your emotions when you're allowing yourself to be observant of the things that's coming at you and just you don't even have to make a point you, you're making a note to yourself you know, and just a lot of times I've been in situations where I've had, you know, I, I had to deal with a lot of adversity at my different jobs that I had to be at, you know, because of different things about me and people start feeling some type of way. And it would be somebody that is really trying to poke that bear and, it, you know, and it would be making me mad because people, it will be people that knew me that knew knew that dark side of me and you trying to you know you telling that about somebody trying to see you you making bets on how trying to see if that come out and i'm like you know that was a not so smart move because you knew 
how dark that really can get and I try not to get there but I knew that was just like you know that was just the devil working into that but it was just like God said be still but it was just that side of me that inner city side of me that hood side of me is like oh you ain't about to pump me you ain't gonna do this and it's just like that person is thinking you know because they're, they're underestimating you you don't know how powerful you are just by being quiet you know and then when it came to you know for example you know uh, my money start being messed with by my employers and stuff like that and they were like Rosalind they done took this amount of money from you and you've been working for this you ain't gonna come there and I'm like nah cause if I come there it, it, I'm, I'm not leaving the way I came they're not gonna be leaving the way I came I'm gonna let God handle that and they were like Rosalind I'm serious that's a lot of money yeah I'm serious too just because it's a lot of money I already know how my energy can be I know how to manipulate energy as well I'm not about to do that because if I do that somebody might no <laughs> I was like I ain't even gonna finish that sentence but it's like you know I already know you know so the next thing you know it comes to me it's like anytime somebody has did something like that to me and I just said God I'm taking this to you because you know how I am he's like I'm glad you brought it to me because I know how you are too you know and just left it there next thing you know not even a month or two come by and it's like the same people that was messing with my money end up getting fired from their job because they were stealing and they were like I said didn't I tell you it's going to come to me it's like somebody's always coming back to me if I didn't do nothing or I didn't handle it the way I thought I was or I get upset because I didn't handle it the way I thought I was and told me it was like peace be still God light is when it's telling you to be in that stillness be in silence that makes you more dangerous than a person that's just rah 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 doing all that because you know especially if you've been in that situation where you've been in trying situations and it got scary for you you know, and I tell people that, you know, I used to joke about it and I thought it was funny. But then it's just like, when you've been through stuff and you ain't healed up all the way and you can, you, you're able to do stuff with your self-conscious because the mind is very powerful. It's a very powerful weapon. And when you're like us as being empathic and you got these, these, these hidden gems of gifts that you're not aware of that you're having and you can manipulate some stuff, that makes you very dangerous. And there's a lot, there's a time and a place when God wants you to be able to use that. And that wasn't that time. And it was like when I've been there, when I say my whole mood shifted, like where it messed with electronics, it messed with currency, it messed with different stuff like that, to where it, it like killed everybody's phone in the room. They were like, Rosalind, my phone was fully charged before I left the room. And all of a sudden this done happened and everybody's like, you didn't record that? They were like, no, we tried to and the phones was just, all of them were dead. And you know, and just stuff like that. And then it was just like, well, I had somebody who was there in a situation, and they tried me by telling my business to some, somebody else just to be able to trigger. Because you see that they didn't like me. You put, you know, hey, oh, because we pull out the insecurities in front of people where you create enemies of their own enemies. You know, you bring that out. So, and it, it's just like different things where you can sit and it can show you just from the fact you being still, you see how. You know, your vibration is going to, it, it's just like when you are, are chosen for certain things or you, you've been guided down a certain path to be able to eliminate a lot of things. You know, you don't know where God will just place you in certain situations just to bring up the cesspool of other people. It's like, why are you using my lifespan to start bringing me up in different situations, you know? And all of a sudden, all these daggone zeros start coming up or these different people that are doing stuff behind the scene, throwing a rock and hide the hand type situation. Why are you always putting me in that? I got a reason for that. Or even that you've been going down a path that you've you know, you've been convicted or you've been wronged in certain situations that you know you didn't do. It's, gonna, it, it, it's, it's a reason for that. You may not know about it now, but you're going to know about it then. You know, I've been in situations where I've been wronged by certain things that I didn't do. But it was just the fact is I'm paying for my karma for the things that I did get away with. And, you know, and the next thing you know, I've been used for different things where I was writing my wrongs through the things that I did get away with. Well, I thought I got away with different things. And I did that. But then God is using me for that. For me to understand, I'm clearing my slate through these different things that I've been convicted for. But you also bringing up other things that, you know... You, it don't make no sense right now, but it's going to make sense later. And it'll be certain things that I see that makes total sense on why certain things not happen in my life the way it did. You know, and I would be so angry with God. Like, how did you allow them? They didn't get away with nothing. Just leave it at that. Just observe. Just 
be quiet and be still. Just observe those things. Don't absorb what's going on, but just observe it. You know, a lot of different things is going on. You you see it, you know, you see it in the world. You see what different things is going on in the world right now, especially in social media. You see in a lot of different things is going on. It's like certain things, especially when I was just taking off just to reflect for a while. I'm just seeing all hell breaking loose on different things. And I'm just like, what is wrong with the world today? Why is all these things popping off and you're seeing it? Like, I mean, it's not something that's new, but it is just like... But when you start raising the bar to your vibrations, you feel it and it's hitting you different. And you're understanding. It's like even when my sister, my, my, my God rest my soul, my adopted sister, she was like her and my mom were empaths. And they were like real, they were really out there. And I, you know, it's just like my sister always tell me to wake up. And I mean now it's like I, I hear her and that's probably the reason why I thought about her because she came up. Because she's like, girl, you need to wake up. And I'm just like, I'm talking to you. I'm not sleep talking. I don't even know how to do that. Y'all tell me I do that. But I'm I'm wide awake. You know, and she used to bust out laughing. She's like, girl, you'll know what I'm talking about. But you need to wake up. You know, and that used to scare me because I was in that veil of ignorance. I was asleep. You know, until she said, you know, her and the way my mom, her and my mom used to talk about different things. You know. And it would just show off different things where it makes perfect sense to what they're saying now. She's like, and I can hear her now. It's like, you finally getting it. I'm so proud of you because you finally getting it. Because a lot of times, you don't realize when you control your emotion, there'll be sometimes people just envy the hell out of you just because you can make something so small and create something so big with it. You can, you, It's just like, you can be that type of person that God done set up here and gave you a mind. To where you can be a person that is out down and out on the streets begging people for money. And just that mindset that you have. Somebody gave you that opportunity. Some, God let somebody to you. And next thing you know, you and that person uh, created a whole empire. To now where you remember there was a couple of years ago where you were down and out on the street. You can tell people that story. I remember where I didn't know where my next dime was coming from. I had to sleep on the streets. I had, you know, my comfort was in like the dogs outside, you know, the, the feral animals out there. And me having newspaper and me having a holy blanket, you know, and different things like that. Now I got a mega mansion, you know, I'm, I'm opening up new charities. I'm doing new foundations of uh you know different things where somebody god allowed somebody to take a chance with me because it is just like certain people kept coming around you and when i see it it's just like how people you could be out there talking in the streets and there'll be that one person that's listening to you and it's just like that vibe come and it's just like the vibe like y'all <laughs> that person is deep you may not think they don't know what they're talking about but that person is deep it may sound crazy to a person that is not willing to step out of bounds you know that's closed minded and stuff like this but then you, you connected with a person that was thinking outside the box and you know they may have had that type of person that got money and they really just trying to, I want to expand in the world. I'm trying, you know, I got all this money and I'm really trying to do something. And I'm trying to do something good with it. I'm trying to go global. I'm trying to do things that's not just going to help me, but help other people. And you got that, that mindset like that. And you know, you got the hands of it. You got power and life and death in your tongue and your hands. All that stuff. And then you got a person that got that mindset, but just don't have the money. But it's just that person that you always connect with that person out on the street you probably give them twenty dollars or whatever five dollars and you know just like hey you know i bought me this you know i bought a sub at the deli over here and or just at, at a bodega over here and i came and bought you something to eat. you know you always got some kind of new philosophy for me to make my mindset for the day and it's just like you know, all of a sudden y'all just start talking and talking and you start hearing more than what this person is talking about and then you got you you know you got this epiphany of what what's telling you that you need to do. We gave you this money, we gave you this mindset, and you just really needing that thing. You know, both of y'all being yoked this one time, you know, and then you bringing this together and all that stuff. And it's just like when you when you being silenced, you know, when you silence and you're in your mind, but when you're in your mind, not in your mind on the negative, but you you your mind working. It's like a, a powerful machine. Which everybody has. 
But it's just uh, the power of what we choose to focus on. You know, we're trying to focus on growth. Or we're trying to focus on how I'm going to bring drama to that person. Like, how am I going to piss that person off today? Or how am I going to uplift this person today? I wanna, what, what kind of joy and blessings I can bring to this person's life? What can I do to be corrupt in this person's life? You know, it's all about what we choose to do. And the power of mindfulness and stillness. Silence. These are the different things that they're telling you. Be, you. You know, you become the most powerful person in the room. You become the most dangerous person in the room. I mean, just that I know it's like all off a subject, but they say that goes hand in hand somewhere. You know, you know, with me and my ADD, I, I, I switch subjects real quick. So my apologies <laughs> if anybody ain't used to that. But it, it's just like that. You know, you just don't know. You know, there's a lot of different things that's going on in the world right right now where it's intensifying. But that, you know, that kind of went off on the subject. But that's just showing you how much power a person can have when you collab with different things. You may have gone through, you know, you got all this money, but it's just like you just really haven't seen that. You, you know, you know you got what it takes, but there's something that's really missing. There's like you got this whole puzzle. And there's like about two or three pieces missing. And this person got these two or three pieces but lacking that whole puzzle. And it just so happened y'all push it off right there. You know. And there's different things you come through. In a whole new different situation. You know. And it's just like when you're doing this, you're going through a lot of different things. And I'm just like really trying to find. I was like, y'all got me to say that. What was that trying to say? It's like it's gonna fit somewhere in that content. <laughs> but it's just like you know, it becomes you. You gotta. You're, you're a dangerous person when you just sit there and analyze. You know, because I've had different things where you know I had to appreciate myself on where I'm at now. Because when it was like when all that stuff was happening, and it was just like. It was like a gorilla coming up to a mouse and not realizing that mouse type, it was like, uh, had the vibrations of, of, of Zeus, <laughs> you know, of, of Samson, not realizing that. And I'm just like, if you knew what I knew, you would have backed up a long time ago, but I'm gonna let you keep talking, you know? And it, it was just like, it took everything I had and people were like, Rosalind, I just really seen, I felt bad for you. I said, no, don't feel bad for me. Be proud of me because it's like the way I was doing about, I was ripping that person apart, like in 20 different ways in my mind and not realizing, you know, the last person that underestimated me like that got their ass handed to them. And I just didn't want to make that next person that example of that too, because I had to learn from that almost you know put somebody six feet deep just because of entry you know in energies like that and that makes you that that type of person it was just like i had to be that type of person i would never allow somebody to take me out of my character like that again because i seen how dangerous that can get that's why i tell people you know it was like first when i was talking amongst family i thought it was funny but then at the time it's like no it's not funny you you don't realize how you can snatch somebody's life out there because they wanted to be ignorant they want to choose to feel like since you're small like that and they're so much bigger than you that they feel like they can crush you like that and it's just like i always told a person don't ever underestimate nobody. Just like, you know, it, it's like Bronny the Dagon Giant can get it just like a Smurf can get it. Don't do not do that. Don't ever underestimate somebody because you feel like, you you know, you're on top of the world like that. Not realizing that one hit can bring you right back down. And it's just telling you that the mind is working in so many different ways. It's helping you collaborate. It's, it, you know, it's helping you come up in life. You had to go through some in and out situations. You had to go through powerful setbacks and you probably had to go through them in a re repetitory vibration like it kept on coming back to back to back to back to back to back and you trying to understand you know I keep pushing out positivity I keep doing this why why when it was like it, it keeps doing all these different things and it's just like you have to understand you are a very powerful person and a lot of times you got to be quiet just for you to really get the whole picture because if you are loud and stuff like that, you you gonna miss out on a lot of different things. Or you might catch a whole smoke you ain't trying to catch. You ain't trying to puff to. <laughs> you know you ain't trying to catch that fade. You ain't trying to do that. But it, it's just like you, they always tell you. You become, you know, beware of the calmest person in the room. You know, a lot of times people just don't like you because your character outweighs the lies of their facade. Or the persona they want to keep up. When you speak and you know what you're speaking about, are you being open to learn a lot of things? That intimidates a lot of people. 
and they tend to project a lot of fear on you and you have to understand when you're a Hayoka and I tell people this and I have to remind myself that too when you are a Hayoka you become a, a, a magnetic of a lot of triggers and you have to understand that it's not something that you do on purpose sometimes we can do it subconsciously and sometimes we don't and you have to understand it's like that at times you have to be able to understand that when things start coming to you the way it is it's, it's, it's like that for a reason you have to understand you know there's a lot of times where people come to me and they're like rise you know uh, it, it's like the more I start learning about myself and the more I start stepping into that light and, and claiming my power you know before I was scared of it you know I'm like there's a lot of times we are scared of that you, you don't know you know because that's a, a new uh, frequency you're connecting with that you do, you're not sure about you don't know about that but these are those different things where it's going to tell you don't don't fear that you know you're opening up you're opening up new vibrations for you to be able to learn you're opening up new vibrations for you to be able uh, to experience in life and where it's experiencing you never know where it's going to take you and when when you're doing that and being open about that you're going to have a lot of negativity and adversity and diversity you're going to have to go against a lot of that so you have to be prepared for that but just a lot of, a lot of times you just going to have to silence yourself you know, no matter how much you, you know, you don't realize how even when you have every right to be enraged, you, you speak more power when you're silent. You know, because a lot of times people just do things just to see what kind of response they're going to give out of you. Or there's a lot of times people may, you know, just ask you something just to get, you know, just to see what kind of response they're going to get out of you. But these are those things that, you know, you're really learning from, you're really growing from. So I hope you are able to resonate with the content of this video. I would love to give a post notification shout out to Coy Lejeune. Much love to you. Um, Alvare uh, uh, Andres Alvarez, much love to you as well. And Alexander St. Anger, much love to you as well. You know, I leave all my contact um, information in the description box below. And um, it's just like about spiritual networking, just being able to help you understand your path of purpose, you know, giving you a deeper understanding on why certain things happen to the point you are right now. You know, a lot of people just do one on ones with me because they don't feel comfortable uh, with speaking on different things that um, they may be taking place into their life. So they always hit me up on the side. Now, you know, I truly understand that, you know, whatever we speak on, you know, I try my best to be able to help out where I can. And, you know, whatever we speak on is confidential and I can make sure I'm you know keep that to myself <laughs> so i just love to be able to help other people if you're ever interested in podcasting as well i and you know i um place my uh podcast on here on my community section of my page and my on my channel as well if you're ever interested in podcasting i can be able to you know link you up with that to you know you may have been urged to podcast and just really don't understand that you know i try my best to be able to help out you know people tell me hey you know Raza, i want to do this and i say okay what's the concept of that and then just being able to give them you know that 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 extra thing you can write down and say hey you know i never thought about it that way and just being able to give them that you know that extra oomph that they needed to be able to give them that push and like hey you got it you know i got your back you know i try to be able to help out the best way i can to be able to help you you know, because I got that when, you know, I was going through that vibration as well. So just being able to help play it for it with other people, I love to be able to do that. So if you ever felt generous enough to, you know, even drop a donation, the Cash App is there as well. Um, what, what what else I got to say? Oh, yeah, whatever you're working on to manifest into your fu fruition, um, you know, I'm, I'm sending so much whatever you need to have it out there to push it out towards you. I'm sending that towards your way. You know, it's just basically keep on going. You know, no matter what's going on to you, what, what your surroundings saying, what your your you know your your financial be, you know may be talking about, keep going, just keep going. You know, it, it's just like you got to be able to stay persistent and consistent with yourself. You got to take a pause for the cause. You go ahead and do that, but you come back more powerful than you did when you took a pause. Okay, so you know, a devil may make you want to give up or fall in or fall through. You know, today just because you know your blessings, the opportunity may open up tomorrow. So you keep on going. You know, even through social distancing, make sure you give out love, like positivity, words, live frequencies. You never know; all those things really take somebody a long way. And just because you took that time out to do that, and not expecting anything in return, it's going to take you any further. So much love to you. Namaste. God bless. Shalom. Uh, I say grand risings. Much love. Peace.